Hey YouTube. So we got ourselves the Creality Smart Kit. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi cloud 3D printing device that kind of adapts the 3D printer to the cloud. Uh, along with this kit, you get a Creality uh, camera. And from the looks of it, it's kind of like a laptop or desktop camera that you would put on your computer. So today we're going to check out the uh, what you get in the box and then we'll try to get it set up and this is my first time looking at it uh, and using one of these devices so um, yeah so I guess we'll do it together we'll unbox it we'll try to get it set up we'll see the struggles pros and cons and uh, go from there. So this is a little bit about the packaging, obviously, um, that's what it says on that side, made in China, 3D printing, reality.com, 3D printing. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm trying to do this one handed, so bear with me. Pull the cover off. Let's see what's inside. Ugh, come on. <laughs> Maybe. It's very, uh, got one hand on this. So, all right, there we go. All right. So what we got is a uh, little Creality certificate thing. Some uh, user manuals, setup guides. We'll have to take a look at that. We got the uh, Wi-Fi box, small little guy. Reset the box and also put in the uh, SD card, I think. I don't know what TF stands for, but yep. <laughs> you got your micro uh, or your power adapter, 5 volt, 24 amps, USBs 1 and 2, and then your uh, Cat5. Nice little foam insert. That's really nice. I'm. I tell you what. I'm impressed by Creality's uh, packaging. It seems like everything's nice, foamed, protect, protected, really good. So, um, USB cable to micro, I believe. And then you got a USB to. Another micro, so two of those. And then you got, what is this guy? We'll get this out later, because I'm only one-handed. Uh, looks like a tripod, so. And then we got the uh, micro SD card. And then we got our camera. So, I'll get this out of the packaging, and then we'll review everything as one. All right, so we have everything here. Um, like I said, you got the instruction guides, a quality check, a stamp, uh, the two cables, the camera, the tripod, the box, the Wi-Fi box 2.0, micro SD, and then you got some two adapters uh, for the cable. So um, the camera itself seems pretty good quality. As far as the, uh, you got like a rubber grip, and this then can rotate up and down, and then it mounts to the tripod. Tripod is uh, the tripod. Um, looks like there's a little clip here. Uh, the legs are like a metal material, and then it's like a, what is that, rubber? Yeah, it's like a rubber plastic. 
support on the bottoms. So I will get this all uh, started here and we'll check it out. I'll do a screenshot of downloading the Creality uh, app and how to get it set up from there. So one thing we got to do first is we got to insert the micro SD card into the TF slot. So we'll get that done and then uh, we'll get it all plugged in and turned on and walk you through that process. All right, just following the, the user guide here. We've got the camera set up onto the tripod. That's kind of how it looks. And then also inserted the TF uh, card or the micro SD card to the TF slot. And you can try to get this here, but you can push on it. Maybe, there we go. You can hear the little click. And then that's to get it out. And then to put it back on, you just click it again. So, all right, we'll go to the next step, uh, which is, I think is connecting uh, connecting it to the printer. So, all right. So just connecting uh, the Wi-Fi box to the printer. Got one of the USB-C or micro USB uh Cables, uh, USB plugged into port one, and then it says to go ahead and then plug the box into the port, which we don't have micro USB. So I guess that's why they send the adapters. This is a micro to you. UBC. We'll get that hooked up and power this thing on. One thing to note is these cables are really nice. They're, it's like a nice braided cable, uh, nylon. All right, got the printer powered on. We got a uh, adapter into the the wireless box and then we plugged in it into the printer using the adapter UBC to micro adapter there I really don't like that seems really flimsy could break possibly so hopefully uh, that doesn't hello buddy so yeah all right next step is getting the cloud app turned on so Let's uh, go do that. All right, so we got to get the Corality Cloud app. We're going to go to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, download the application, open that application up. Down at the bottom, there's devices. Click on that. Go to add a device. Then we're going to select our device, which is the Corality Box 2.0. Then it gives us a prompt. All right, so the Wi-Fi box on the app says that it needs to be reset. Hold down the button for 10 seconds. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go, and then we're going back to the app. Now we're back into the application. Check the box, hit next. We're gonna scan our box in. Then we're gonna select our either our wireless or wired settings. I'm gonna go Wi-Fi. So then it wants to connect to the to the box. It's gonna chat with it, get all the configuration set up, and then it's gonna want us to jump back to our original Wi-Fi connection on our phone. So we'll get that hooked up here, jump back into the application. It's gonna finish up its setup. And then we get to name the device. I'm going to rename it uh, the printer. So Ender 3 S1 Pro. All right. So we finish. Uh, and then our printer should be listed. I have a 
update that I need to get done. So we're going to get it updated and we're going to start that process. So now it's downloading the firmware and we'll get that updated. I got the camera set up for right now. I plugged it into the back, going to the USB. This connector is still the only, uh, maybe they offer a different cable that can get directly plugged into the USB-C. So we'll see though. All right, um, we'll go to the app, we'll play around with it and go from there. All right, our update finish. I have another update that uh, it's kind of interesting that there's two updates in a row, but uh, we're going to try to get this updated. Um, and I ran into this. So I got some errors. My TF card wasn't connected, so I had to power it down, get that powered back up, and then I did the update. So going into our, our box and our settings, this is the image of the camera. Um... Very nice image. Uh, it's uh, a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Higher resolution. I'm not really sure what the resolution is, but it's it's definitely probably like 720 or 1080. So resolution's really nice. Um, just playing around with the the position of the camera. That's something that I I'm gonna purchase just a a larger tripod so I can back it away a little long you know, further away from the print bed. So uh, now we got that set up. I'm going to print out a cup uh, just for a preview of of what it, this device can do. Um, so I found a file. I'm doing a slice on the app. Uh, I'm going to resize it so that it doesn't take forever. <laughs> we'll make a smaller cup. Um... It's kind of nice. I like the application of the, the slicing through the the app itself. I think it's laid out very nice, and I I like the features. Here's all the parameters, uh, so you can go through all, of, all the different parameters, type, quality, shell, infill, temperature, travel, supports. So it's a, it's a good setup of how they have the application. Um, I really enjoy it so far we're going to choose the device that we want to print it to we're going to make sure that there's nothing there that's in its way and then we're going to send it and get it going so the print's off this is your feed you can look at your parameters like your speed you got your other controls like your fan settings and then you have your progression your live feed time remaining material use and then you got your temperature so you got current temperature for your your nozzle your hotbed and you can manually control those so one of the other things too is if you go into settings go to time lapse you can turn on your time lapse uh, setting so that it creates a time lapse video and then it also gives you the option to remove the nozzle as it's creating that time lapse so I believe every layer it uh, goes parks the nozzle and then it gives you that uh, that build layer by layer time lapse so here's an example of that of that feature which I really really like it I just got to reposition the camera a little better so overall I think the Corality smart kit which has the Corality box 2.0 the Corality camera um, does exactly what I wanted to do. Um, it's a great uh, value, I feel, uh, for what you get. And it does exactly what I wanted it to do. So between looking at the live feeds of the print, looking at the parameters, uh, being able to you know, go on the cloud, slice them, send them to the printers and start it up, and then the greatest feature that I really enjoy is the uh, the time lapse. Uh, being able to have a camera giving you the live feeds, but it's also recording the time lapse as well. So overall, very good uh, addition to the printer. Um, I'm not sure why it has such 
negative reviews online um, as I was going through the reviews it did I wasn't sure just because of the negativity that it had on it but overall the you know with the amount of time I've had a couple days with it it's excellent so I highly recommend it um, and I'm I'm satisfied with the purchase for sure uh, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video I thank you and please like and subscribe. Thanks.